Let's give a round of applause for the DJ tonight, King Mamu. <laughs> Wait. Wait, wait. Did I say he volunteered his time to be here? King Mamu. All right, so my job as the host is to make you laugh, make you cry, get through the program, right? This next award is an award that I created, and this is how I came to this award. I saw on Facebook that the Westchester County Republican, boo, come on, there we go, Republican Party was honoring Rookie of the Years and giving their rookies awards to keep them involved, to keep them coming back and to make them feel good. And I thought, what a great way to award our Rookie of the Year. So we have the inaugural Rookie of the Year here from Westchester, Jovan Richards. He's in the other room getting food. And this year's Rookie of the Year. Now, the New York State Young Dems organized five major key canvases this year across the state. Five? That's a lot. This gentleman came to all five. That's pretty amazing. Very amazing if you ask me. From the South Bronx, Boogie Down, wait, wait, the Boogie Down Bronx, now, where, where's Justin's mom? Raise your hand, Justin's mom. Because good young men aren't just born. Sometimes they're disciplined, trained, and Justin, if you've ever met Justin, the respect that he gives everybody is second to none. He doesn't care if you're the janitor or you're the president. He gives you that same respect when you talk to him. He was one of the youngest community board members in his borough, appointed by borough president Ruben Diaz Jr. from the Boogie Down. I, I have nothing but nice things to say about this gentleman right here. So stop eating, put your hands together for Justin Westbrook Lowry, a rookie of the year! I am so, I am, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tom Meyer. You were a great executive vice president, and I'm going to miss you after tomorrow, and I will, I will talk to you and visit you, and I'll, I'll still ask you for advice often. Um, yes, smiling, yes. Um, I have so many people to thank and so many institutions to thank um, for this wonderful night. I have to thank the borough and the county of the Bronx, um, the Bronx and Democrats, I love you so much. Thank you so much. You, it's so great to be a part of a group of young professionals doing good things in the borough that I, I love. Um, I also would like. Yep. Yes. Thank you. I. I also. I, I'm trying to get through it. I'd like to thank um, a very special person who I can say that I would not be up here without his support, and that is Eric Henry, who is the president of the Bronx and Democrats. And you know, he's, he's retiring from BYD, and I'm going to miss him so much. I wouldn't have been a delegate without him, so thank you so much, Eric. 
Um, I have to thank um, so many great friends that I have on the New York Forward slate. They're great friends of mine. Um, I especially have to thank Patrick Jordan and Dory and Stacy and, and so many great folks. I, I love you all. Um, I also would like to thank so many of the um, fellow honorees for the work that they do. Um, the first for, uh, for um, this organization, the Democratic Party, and, and for me as a friend, um, particularly my brother from the Bronx, Assemblyman and Vice Chair, um, Michael Blake, uh, who could not be here tonight, but he's a great friend. Um, I also have to thank someone who is very important and special to me, who, you know, I reach out to him all the time, and I consider it a, a very good thing that I'm being honored with him, and that is Mike Corbett. Where are you, Mike Corbett? Where are you? I always, you know, you were the first person that I come to. I always ask for advice, and I'm going to look forward to asking for more advice from you after tomorrow. So thank you so much. Um, and also, I have to, so many thank yous. I have to thank my mother, my, my mother. I have to thank her. She always comes with me. I love her so much. I have to thank my father, my sister, and all of my family. They give me so much great support. And also I have to thank my Heavenly Father for all the support he gives me. And I'm so happy that I've had the opportunity over the course of the last year, some folks less than a year, some folks more than a year, to know you in this organization, to go on different canvases and trips with you throughout the state of New York. Uh, so many people, too many to name, I thank you so much for all that you've given me um, over this year. Um, and, and now to my uh, message. Um, you know, I never really saw myself as a rookie. Um, because, you know, no, I mean, I, I understand that I'm a rookie with um, NYSYD, and, and that's very important, and I'm thankful. Um, but, you know, I realized a month or two ago that I'm celebrating a decade of being interested in politics. I, I, I got interested with Barack Obama, and he ran on hope and change. You know, it really was inspiring to see someone who, who could make a change and to know that you could be a part of change like that. And that was what made me want to get involved. Um, I, I also remember, you know, the idea, um, now we're, we're in the era of Donald Trump. So now, right, and, and now we definitely have to work as hard as we can to ensure that we can preserve the things that we got over the last eight years and to get things that we need to support our families and, and to do good things for our country. Um, I really want to take the opportunity to call out some folks who are, who are really, really young Democrats, like around the age of 20. So uh, if you want to stand up or whatever you want to do, like Sarah Shimon, um, Hannah Zimmerman, Brian Garcia, um, Chris Barraza, and um, David Aronoff. They're young folks like me. And, you know, we, we start young. We have to start young dealing with Donald Trump. And, you know, I look forward to, you know, being a really, a really young Democrat for a long time and working with you and fighting with you to preserve the things that we got and to, to get more things so that we can make this state the most progressive state in the union and to make sure that we have progressive values hopefully throughout the country. So, so thank you so much and God bless all of you.